let's add new books to your Apple Books app. Now, if you are bored and you want to read any kind of PDF books on your Books app, I'm going to walk you through two different options to add new books. Let's open up the app here and at the bottom center you can see Bookstore. And of course you can go through this list and always just download and pay for a new book. So you can see top either free or paid for. Let's say we wanted to buy this one. It says $1.99. You can buy this book on the bookstore or you can look at more free app or free books here. You can download a Stephen King book that is $16.99 or Another way is if you don't want to pay for a book or buy a book on the bookstore itself, then you can always download a free PDF book. So let's open up Safari here and I'm just going to go to pdfdrive.com. So this is an option where you can download free PDF books. There are a bunch of different options. It doesn't necessarily matter which one you use. And a lot of these have free books that you can download here. So I'm going to just tap on one of these books and usually it pops up with some kind of random ad. I have to close that out and then you can hit download here. It will check for remote file health, whatever that means. Once that's done, it will allow me to download this book and I'll show you how to get it here. I'll just download, tap download. And then that book will be downloaded on my phone here. I'm going to tap the share button at the bottom center. And I'm going to hit save to files here. And then hit save. I don't think if you just hit share here, oh, it does have the option for books. So you don't have to hit save to files. So you can just directly share it into books here. And then now you have that book on here on your normal book library. You can always go to it. You can read it. Once you're done with it, you can always just delete it if you don't want that book anymore. Hope this helps. Thanks for your time today and I'll see you on the next one.